everyone. How are we doing? Amritsar, Punjab, India. You might have already guessed, we're at the bus stand, the loudest place in all India. Today we're going to get a local bus to a smaller city nearby. So we're just going to have to find our bus. I'm guessing it'll be super easy. We'll just ask some locals and then yeah, let's just see where the day takes us. Hello, sir. How are you? Very good, how are you? Fine. Very good, yeah. Very good. We are going to Tar Taran Taran Sahib. Oh, what? Taran Taran Sahib. Where are you? Taran Taran Sahib. You leave. Red bus. Wait this side. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, come in. Okay. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm going to wait it. Wait here? Okay, lo local bus. Local bus. Okay, local bus. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get a word in anyways, can I? The town we're going to is like what half an hour, one hour away. And we have no idea what to expect. It should be a fun one. Selfie. Selfie, okay. Picture, okay. You can speak English. Dari, 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 wake, dari, wake, wake. People are like saving people. They just don't do anything. Nice to meet you, okay. I've just got to say, you mustache is fantastic. It's very good. <laughs> is this not ours? This one? Okay. Why's our bus going? <laughs> Hey! Let us on bus, mate! Okay. Okay, okay, carry on, carry on. Oh gosh, the bus is still moving and we're getting on it. Right, everyone, here we go. To the city, eh? Oh, it's not this one because it's got that thing. Bloody hell, the bus, bus were going without us then. I'm the complimenting our mate's moustache and then the bus is going. So this is India. Yeah, that guy was really nice. Really nice seat lot we just met. People get on selling snacks. What are they like? They're like prawn crackers then. What do you want? You want some chat? Sir, how many rupee for small? How many? Okay, can we have one please? 10 rupees. Look, we've also got the um, our friend over there clapping, asking for money. Our transsexual friend. I say friend, she's not my friend. She's got lemon on me. Have you got a 10 roofs? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. What have you got there? Oh, very interesting. Okay, good luck. Hey, look, 10 rupees. Look at that. Tiniest little portion of, of snack you've ever seen. It's a mouthful. It's good, though, isn't it? How um, it comes with this little cardboard spoon. No thanks. So we just got like onion, coriander, tomato. <laughs> Gosh, that's loud, isn't it? Should we try it? We'll try it. Let's try and enjoy this in peace. Alright. Are they like little lentils? I don't know. Okay. What the hell? Hello? Hello. Will this lady leave us alone? <laughs> don't, don't think she like the camera, did she? Be Kersha. So me and Leisha now cursed for life. Oh, this man's selling some snacks. Some nuts. What's this? What? Okay. Whatever it is, we'll have it. Also, they've got the, the Thank you, sir. mouth freshener. Oh yeah, mouth freshener. They've got it all. Okay, no, no. You want them? What the hell? We're going all out. When in India, eh? Embrace it. Cheers, sir. 
Go on, let's try this snack leash. I feel like this bus is gonna just take absolutely forever, isn't it? It's not saying okay until it's full, I don't think. Right, let's try this. So yeah, I like the little spoon you get. There we go. It's very eco-friendly. You know what? Natural like that. But nice little just like snack. It's just, you only get one mouthful, but it's alright. So let's show you the bus there. The old school local Indian bus. You can't go wrong with them. Everyone on the bus is just staring at us. Hello. But they're all smiley, so. Right, we've got a bit of few snacks, haven't we? Ready for day. So we're going to a city called Tan Tan Sahib. Should be about a 40 minute drive, but who knows, this is India. And I think by the time we get there, we'll be dead. But here goes, here goes nothing, eh? We got these nuts as well, didn't we? I don't know what they are, but we'll try them. Oh gosh, it's bumpy. We'll see how they are. They look all right, to be fair. Yeah, nice, no, nice, really, really salty nuts. Good them. They like peanuts, they like crispy. Yeah, they're really salty, so they're good. So the busman's coming now, we'll see how much the tickets are to where we're going. Dan Taran Saib. Let's see how much this is. Maybe it's 50 each. How much? 50 each or 40? Okay. 40. 40. 40. Okay. 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 Thank you. Oh no, he's giving 40 back, so it's 30 each. 30 rupees each to the next town, which is like what? 40 minutes or That's alright. It's like 30 p each. Great, good stuff. You get a ticket. You get an old school little yeah. ticket as well. I like it. I like that you get an actual ticket. So here we go, bro. Let's go. I mean, I'm not being funny, people. India looks like the worst country to drive in the world. Every time we're here, I think this. It just looks like hell. drops us off out of town and we're gonna to have to get an also into town so here we go see what it's like here in a random town in Punjab small little city Oy, ay, ay. Also. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Ellis. Ellis? Not where you are, but Ellis, India. Okay? Nice to meet you, okay? Goodbye. Um, how much are two cities? Um, how many rupees? Ten rupees. Ten? Okay. 10, 10, 10, 20. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. 10 each. It's like a shirt. Uh oh. Into town, eh? Okay, here we go, Leash. That was easy, weren't it? We literally just got off the bus straight into this. So. 
Oh. Too small. Oh, I don't know what I just said, but. Here. You see, we've got the lads here who sell stuff on the buses. We'll see you when we get into town. I think we're just waiting for one more customer before we head into town. Like, fill the thing up. But I've just got to say, my mate's the beer, right? Has got the most majestic haircut I've seen in India. He looks fucking wonderful. He's got like a straight backed mullet. He's sick. So um, here we go. Oh. Look has got a handle as well. Right, here we go, people. Good stuff. Look at it, it's colourful, isn't it, around here? This is what we want in it. Tunes are on. Oi oi. Right people. Thank you so much, okay? This shop? And I can. Okay, best of luck. And here we are. Tan, Taran, Sahib. What we're gonna do here is have a look in this Sikh man's shop because we're gonna go check out the big temple and I think he sells shoes off. Take our shoes off. See if I can like buy an actual turban to try on. Never worn one before. So we'll see. Hello, sir. Oh, I don't know what to say. Yes, small like a small. I have never worn before. Yes, but but small. Small. Um, what do we think? Maybe. What will look best on me? What is good? You pick. Good. You you pick for me. Which <laughs> color? Color? Which color? Color. What you reckon? White, you reckon? black. Oh, may, maybe maybe this color might be nice. This 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 one, yeah. It's kind of like a um, a light color. Blue. Oh, I don't know about the dark blue though. What does he do? Is he cut it into yeah, to your length? Yeah, you paper meter. You paper meter. Right, let's just have a look. Oh, what about this light blue? Is that, that's not a turban. Oh, is it not? No. Oh, this, is, this is the hardest orange. thing ever. <laughs> what do you think? Orange or white? We'll get white. White? Yeah. Yeah, go on. Let's see. You were drawn to that colour. That that's good. too. That's very white though. That's pure white. Yeah, it's a white shirt. Or do you want blue? <sighs> what do you reckon? Which one will look or good orange. on me? Why don't you get... You don't want bright orange, do you? Well, like, like this. It's orange. got customers so you need to wear okay. yeah. We'll just get this one. Same as him, yeah? Oh, him. Golden. Like the yellowy one. The yellow. Yeah, yeah, go on, we'll just have that, okay. How much is it? Hardest decision I've ever made. So for something like this, the, the, two meter. the price, price for, for two meter. Two meters? Yeah. Yes. Two meters. Like, how much price, <laughs> Kitna? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the hardest customer ever. Sorry, I'm a fish out of water, I don't know what I'm doing. I just thought, let's try one. Let's see how it looks. It is a nice colour, you're right. wonder how much this is. Okay. okay. We'll just roll with this. So we've got two metres. Is that a long one or a short one? I don't know. Do you want him to tie it for you? You might need to let him know. Should I? Can, sir, can you put it on me? He wants him to tie it. He will do it. Because I have no idea how to do this. You can do it for me? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. We'll do it outside. Because he's busy. He's got customers waiting outside, though. I know, sorry. Causing an absolute ruckus. So how much? <laughs> what is the price? Charlie's for. Bus, 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 bus. Which must be Okay. He has a very nice shop, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got everything. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
This shop is really good though, I'll just quickly show you, we've got all the Seek swords and the, um, the weaponry. Okay, thank you so much sir. Right. I've got turban. It was like 150 rupees or something, I'll just put my shoes on quickly. So our mate is actually really nice and he's going to wrap the turban around my head because I obviously I've never worn one of these before. So let's see how we do it. Where should I sit? Pop yourself on the edge. <laughs> Very kind man, this gentleman. Yeah, it's really nice of him. She's making a bit of a spectacle for people <laughs> driving past me. Everyone's having a right chuckle. Do you need a bubble? Do you need a bubble? Can you believe our old rickshaw driver is doing this for me? Really nice of him. I can't believe it. He should be working. Instead he's tight my arrow <laughs> on the side of the street. So imagine if you got like six meters or something. Right. Nearly done. No. Yeah, I think he's giving you like his style. Oh, whatever, whatever he wants to do. An audience leash. <laughs> Great lads. How are we doing? Yes. Are you okay? How are you? How about you? Yes. Very good. Yes. <laughs> okay. What do you think? You are from England. England? Yeah. Yes. Where are you from? India. In you're Lava from here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He'll come with you. Okay, okay. How do I look? You're what do you reckon? How do I look, lads? Good. Good. Okay. Kids approval. I'll tell you in a sec. What is your name? Vishal. Vishal. Hmm. So nice to meet you. Thank you so much. You're a good man. Okay. Bye. All right. See you later. Best of luck with everything. Really nice guy, him. Just took it upon himself, didn't he? Goodbye. So I said, on the way to him, I said, where can I get a, a turban? Where can I wrap my hair up? And he just stopped at that shop. He took us in there. I got this for 150. And now? And then he wrapped it on my head for me. He did it for me. I would have had no idea how to do that. So now, we're going to head into the temple. In this town. In here, okay. Thank you so much. Don't worry. Thank you. Top block. So we'll head in now. We'll check the temple out and then we'll go for some food after. And this looks like it's going to be extremely beautiful. So we're going to pass through the gate in a minute. Just need to take our shoes off and have a wash, clean up. And then yeah. How do I look? Be honest. It's quite comfortable. Thank you very much. Right, everyone will take you in as we go in. So here's the washing station, which everyone uses before they go into the temple. So here we go, put camera away one minute. And here we go. Take you in as we go in, show you what we see. 
it looks quite incredible. Colossa. Wow. Now this is impressive. It's very sunny. So it is a bit hard to see actually. But we'll take you. Massive, isn't it? Absolutely huge. We'll take you to the. Go on. Sorry, it's peaceful. So here we are, people, the big Sikh temple of Taran Taran Sahib. And it is very impressive. We're sat here by the water tank, the holy water pond. And a fun fact for you, this is the biggest of all the Sikh temples. And it is massive, it's really impressive. Just all around, people are bathing in the water. So it's pretty cool. We're gonna walk all the way around in a minute. Now all the way around, check out the actual temple. Yeah, it's really peaceful, it's really nice. Just as beautiful as the Golden Temple in Amritsa, so. Immaculate as well, it's immaculately clean, so. Big up. Very impressive minaret here. Now in the corner you'll see, they always have these filtered water drinking stations. So you get a little stainless steel cup and everyone gets a drink of water. So it's very interesting. Now what I forgot to touch on the other day when we were at the Golden Temple is these Sikh temples serve as community kitchens. So they cook free food for anyone, absolutely anyone, no matter who you are. Available for anyone. I don't know if they have one here, we'll find out. But the Golden Temple in Amritsa feeds 50,000 people a day, minimum. So it's, it's very impressive. They look after people. So now what we're gonna do is have a wonder about town. This little town, the town of Tan Taran Sahib and try and find some food. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how English only. English. I don't understand, sorry. How are you? How are you? Very good, very good. How are you? How are you? I'm being, bro, I'm being. Your country? England, England, England. 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 Gumbay, Gumbay. We go to eat culture. 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 The baby. Culture. 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 This guy's taking us. Oh, this is hot. Two, two? Okay. Okay, okay. This is absolute chaos, isn't it? Okay. 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 Oh my gosh, it caused an absolute scene. Absolute Every rucker. single person on the street is looking at us now. This culture is strong. Oh, is it? You've driven us to here, mate. This is a culture. Okay, good. this looks okay. very good. Okay, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You, you want to eat? No, no, thank you. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Of Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, nice to meet you. you. All right. Alicia. <laughs> we came out of the temple and we asked this man where there was some culture and he sent us off so we started walking. Then we met that character who was like grabbing me and pulling me down the street. Then a million kids appeared and then he drove us. Like, well, you saw how far he drove us. ID. ID? ID. Snapchat, WhatsApp. Oh, just YouTube. YouTuber. Yes, I'll show you now. Hot chili. <laughs> no, just me. normal tea spicy. No, no, spicy. Hot chili, good. Hey, now the kulche la de over there. Just believe you can handle the spice. Don't worry about. Yeah, they know that. Yeah. Spicy, good. Spicy, good. Yeah, don't worry. It's a jale me jale na na. Me jale la de over jale na jale na pa you. I'm receiving order for us. Thank you so much. Okay. Alice, just be right. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. See you later. Okay. 
So here we go, here is the culture spot. And as you can see, it's just a proper street side spot. So yeah, he's got his little oven there. Whatever we get, we get. Our mate just ordered for us, so it's a mystery. Right. Hello. So what are we getting? What's this? Is this what he stuffs inside the bread? I'm gonna leave it as a surprise. Whatever we get, we get leash. Look, we got a little eating area. So pro so proper street food does smell good. Now this is pretty cool. Our mate is actually making fresh dough to make the culture. He's just got this bag of just raw flour. So we get to see how this is all done as well. This is some proper street food tackle, this. So he's making the door. Okay. What is your name, sir? Ab Kanam Kia here. Your name, sir? Nam. Nam. Gratev Singh. Gratev Singh. Gratev Singh. Gratev Singh. Okay. Gratev Singh. Bitu, bitu, bitu. Oh. I don't understand. Country, England. Country, my country. Punjabi, don't worry, it's okay. We look forward to trying this. We look forward to trying this. Kulcha. Kulcha. Kulcha, Punjabi food. Punjabi food, yes. It looks good. He's making the door fresh. And you're like. So he's going to make the fresh door. And then does he put um, this stuff into this? Wait, okay, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, stuff inside and then in the oven. Right, we'll see, we'll watch. What's this? A bit of salt? Namak. Nam. Nam. My name, Ellis. Nimuka, Nimuka. Nimuka. No, he's telling me what this is, I think. Is it salt? I think it's salt, actually, yeah. You know what? Let's just wait so we see what he's doing. Here we go, and there is that fresh dough. He just put some flour on the side. Now he's gonna knead that. Look at this. Fresh dough, he just whipped that up in about two minutes. This is gonna be our culture. I'm absolutely starving, honestly. Just the smell coming from the oven. Look, he's getting little portions ripped off. Okay, everyone. Got a load of fresh red onion there. What's that? Whatever that is, it's going to be good in it. I don't know what it is. And more stuff going in. Oh, fennel, fennel. All right, so some fennel seeds go in. Gosh, this smells wonderful. I can see peppercorns. And this, aloo, aloo, aloo. So we got potato. Oh wow, even more is going in. Hey, this looks fantastic. What is this one? Whatever it is, it looks good. This is proper stuff. So I guess he's gonna mix all this in now and then stuff it into these. Oh, chili. Chili, spicy. Let me tell you, it smells good. I can smell it the second he threw that in. I could smell those fresh, like green chilies. Like, such a good smell. Oh yeah, look at this. This looks fantastic. So he's just mixing the potato with all that spice and onion. Okay, so this looks top. Can you smell it from there or not? I swear, it's put about 10 different spices in there as well. That's the smell fresh. So here is where the magic happens. He's flattened some of that dough and he's just gonna stuff it with this wonderful filling. Wraps up like a ball. And there we go. I'm guessing he'll flatten it and stick it in the oven. Right. Look at this, people. You get a decent bit of filling as well. There's a decent bit in there. It's going to be good. It's going to be well good. And now he's going to flatten these out. Make them a nice round shape, ready to go in the oven. Look at that. Nice and even. Like a big disc. And that oven is hot, you can see. I don't know if you can see on the camera, there's like heat waves coming out. And underneath here we've got his bag of spuds, potatoes. He's an all working man, this geezer. Just doing everything fresh, like everyone who wants to eat the culture has to wait for him to do it from scratch. He's not making them and stacking them up, waiting for people to come. Which I absolutely hate. I mean, you've seen it in some countries, some of like those 
terrible Southeast Asian countries. Some of them, they just fry everything and just, just whiz it in a counter for four hours. So they can sit on the phone and not have to do anything. It's really lazy, but not our mate, it's hard work. So we've got the finishing touches. You just sprinkled a little more, a few bits on the top, and it's gonna go straight into the oven. Is he gonna do it with his hand? Of course he is. There he goes, look at that. Straight in with a hand. Arms of steel. He's definitely got no words on that arm anymore, does he, on that forearm? That was a loud one. We've got a queue now, around the Culture King. Tension, it? Yeah. From flipping, like, mixing all the ingredients every day. He's got four arms of steel on there. You can see they're stuck to the wall in that oven there. Oh, yeah. Let's leave him alone now. I've annoyed him enough. Oh, there we go, everyone. Look at that. They look so good. Oh, oh, oh the smoke. My eyes. <laughs> they look so good, though. Proper, like, crispy. And, like, almost burnt around the outside. Thank you so much. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you so much. So here we've got a little side dish of this chickpea, almost curry. And then what's he put in there? Some green chutney, a little bit of onion. Looks good, looks a bit red, could be spicy, I hope so, that'd be good, wouldn't it? That actually does look really good. And then any second now, the culture is coming. Oh, does he give it a polish with a bit of butter as well? So they come out the oven, they're extremely hot. And then, yeah, oh look, oh my gosh. That is heaven. Get a full piece of butter. Oh wow, thank you so much. <laughs> look at this, everyone. That looks flipping wonderful. Look at the piece of butter we've got. Thank you, sir, thank you. Thank you. So here we go, Leash. We're gonna have to wait 10 minutes. What should we do with the butter? Rub it in? Yeah. See what I'll do, I'll use this spoon. Spread this butter around, get it melted in. That is a beautiful thing. Look at that, everyone. I've been inventive, I've ripped a corner of my culture, but I'm just spreading all the butter around. Melting it all in. Ooh, it looks so You know what they would say about that? They'd say it looks decadent. It's a big old butter, like, look at this everyone. I can't wait to try this. Right, should we try and break some off? So it's absolutely stuffed full of our mates filling. Oh, it's too hot. It's too hot. Give me a minute. Here we go everyone. Let's try this culture. It looks fantastic. I'm just going to try it on its own first. So good. Buttery. I like that butter we spread it all over it. So it looks simple but so inside there are so many ingredients in here, so many spices and you really can taste everything's put in. Nice and crunchy from the oven. And then we've got the chickpeas, let's try this eh. Give it a little bit of a dip. Right, there we go. Logo. It's a really good little snack. Really tasty. I mean, it just looks so simple, but it's really good. Look at it. Oh, how is it, Leash? So, so good. This chana is absolutely delicious. Show us that. That little bite you've made yeah, there. But it's in, I don't know what it is that he's put in here, honestly. It's, I don't know the word to describe it. It's just like fresh. Like, it's not heavy. Oh it's got a queue now. Absolutely random. Top man, innit? Shout out to our mate who brought us here. Cheers, mate. Oh, it's well good. Buttery. Now halfway through eating this, I have got to say, 
Oh mate, it's chickpea gear, it's actually quite spicy. Must have whisked a lot of green chilli in there. But it's really good still. It's got a proper nice kick. Mm. Fantastic breakfast, it's really good. What we're going to have to do though, is head into town and get some tea. And sort of wonder around, see what's going on. The same you have purse and mobile. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, coffee tea for for uh, this, this city dangerous? No, all, all India, yeah. Oh, all India, okay, okay. 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 Thank you very okay, much. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Do you know how much this is for two kulcha? Uh, 60 kilometers, yeah. 80? 80. 80, okay. 100. Thank you so much, sir, for you. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Absolute legend, this man. At least she's going to take a picture, because look, photogenic man. Cheers, sir. Goodbye. That would top that. They only cost 40 rupees each for that little meal we just had. Fantastic. So now we'll head back into the chaos, maybe get some tea. Maybe a fresh juice, just have a wander around, show you some of these colourful, loud Indian streets of oh, Punjab. I tell you what, we quite like Punjab, I have to say. I've only really got positive things to say about it. Everyone's really respectable. And yeah. I mean, there are things in India that stress you out, that annoy you. You notice your classics, the traffic, the noise. Like, some places are quite dirty, but there's, there's so many good things that, I mean, yeah, it just takes your mind off any of that. And as you can see, we are having a good time. Look, proud to be a farmer. Get in. That's what we like to see, innit? So it's pretty cool around here wherever we are we're pretty much in like a market these small streets it's like a maze there's a lot going on good atmosphere people generally very friendly you are noticing as we were walking by leash spotted these soaps we thought they were body soaps turns out it's actually for washing your clothes and we do do quite a bit of hand washing me and Leash. So 20 rupees we got ourselves a bar, it smells really good. It's actually so good like for washing clothes and stuff. It's not liquid, you don't have to bother about that. It's a good thing to keep. Yeah. So on we go through this market labyrinth. Fancy a drink. Still can't find a tea or a juice shop, but I'm sure there's gonna be one. We're in India. So we're just wandering around some of these little back alleys in Taran Taran Sahib. And check this building out, this is ancient. Look at it, it's crumbling. Looks like it's gonna fall on us. Look at the old door. It's like a maze around here, wherever we are. <laughs> I think we've hit a dead end. Yeah. It's really cool though. Now here I think is the main entrance to the temple. And we must be pretty much bang in the heart of like the old town here, the old city, because it's just endless narrow alleyways and like market areas, look. There's not a road inside, just these little alleys. I mean, it is pretty cool though, so we'll just keep wandering and see what we can find. We still need to get this drink. But you can see, it's a nice place to walk around, isn't it? Hello, sir. What's this then, Leash? Well, you can't walk past the window like that. We've walked past the window full of delicious Indian sweets. We've never actually gotten a box, have we? We've never got a proper box, so maybe we'll see if we can get a little selection. They all look so good, don't know what anything is. What's that green one? Green Angora, that is catching my eye. Maybe we'll ask if we can get a picky mix. Because India do sweets well, don't they? These are really good, these like stuff. Is possible like a um, mix box? Like one. Like a mix, let's see, let's go in, we'll try. So what we're gonna have to do here is just the old point and shoot trick. We'll just point at what we want and we'll get a little mini box, like a selection, a mix. It's coming in two minutes, is it? 
no problem. Nobody here speaks English. I mean, I don't care. We're not in England, we are in India. We're in Punjab. We speak Punjabi and they probably speak a bit of Hindi as well. I'm guessing most people understand Hindi to some level. We know none of those languages, but it's all right because the flipping love of sweets is going to bring us together. I felt it's going to make me feel so hot. What have you seen? Hell? Hell energy drink? Just, just like, uh, like one, one, one. No, no, no. Not all, not all. Like we will point. We can show you. Now our mate has just picked a load of random sweets out of the cabinet. And I think he's done a good choice. This looks good. He's got some of those green ones in which I wanted to try. So we're going to get this. Let's see how much it is. Okay, that looks very good. Thank you, sir. No idea how much this will be. We'll find out. Wait <laughs> That'll be a tenner. Let's see. But you, like when you walk past that window, I don't know why. We just couldn't walk past. It's the colour. Everything looks so rich, decadent. In these sweets, they're not they're not faffing about. They're heavy gear. It's not like all really all we're just we're just, just living it up, living up um, our time in India. Let's see, let's see how much it is. How much? 120. 120, okay, wow. That's an absolute deal. That is heavy as well, it's a heavy box of sweets. I was, I was genuinely expecting to get 400. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I was expecting like 300 or something, I don't know why, but. Should we get somewhere quiet and try these? Hello, how are you? Fine. Have you come for some sweets? Sweet, sweet. <laughs> What's that? What's going on here then? Who are these whiteys? Very beautiful. Bye bye, bye bye. Right, Del. Again, that's in your turn around. Baby in your face. I don't mind it. So we'll take these somewhere, try them and get a drink. Just a little bit congested in here, innit? Just a little bit. Gosh. Oh, on the left, it actually looks like I've got a restaurant that's handing out food to people. That's what it seems, like feeding the community. That's good, innit? Yeah, I think that's what they're doing. It's handing out food to everyone. Some puri and like some type of curry. I've just been run over. Looking tire into the back of the leg. Gosh, they ran over in India. Let's get out of here now. To somewhere where we can have a minute of our own thoughts. This looks like what we're after, a juice shop. Hello, sir. How are you? Good, thank you, how are you? We have juice. We are after a, a cup of juice. Juice, yes. That in this. Juice yeah, you can. Yes, orange, what else do you have? Pineapple. Orange, pineapple, Hey, I bet if you mix them all, it'd be nice. Mix, yeah. Uh, how much mix, mix cup? Yes, how much? How much rupee? A kitna rupee. How much? Fifty. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's get two, please. Okay. So we're gonna get orange, pineapple, and grapefruit. Upon closer inspection, I don't know what we're getting. Have a sit inside. Cheers, sir. Okay. Cheers, sir. I'm just gonna watch you make the juice. So we're on pomegranate, and then we've got orange. We've got some grapes in there, and we've got some pineapple. And I think we're just getting a mix of everything. And it's a juice, so it's gonna go through all make the juicer. Which is just pure juice, so not like a smoothie with the pulp and stuff, just pure like juice. I mean, that's why they call it a juicer, because it makes juice. Beetroot, a bit of beetroot as well, hey up. So this everyone. Beetroot, pomegranate, orange. Let's see what else goes in. What are these grapes? Oh, a few grapes as well, look at that. Some red and green grapes. The pineapple. Bit of everything. Hey, this looks quite good actually, it smells good. I mean, when you're walking down the street and you come across a shop as bright as this, just with all this fruit, it's very inviting, isn't it? Okay, I might go inside and sit with Alicia. I think that's what we'll do. 50 rupees each cup. Mixed juice. Let's go in. Where is she? She's in here. 
Let's see what's inside. How is it in here? In the waiting area? Well, very cool. Very cool. Yeah. I love sitting on the streets. Looks like you're in a little dungeon back here, Leash. Well, on the street. I might go back out onto the street. <laughs> Moment of peace. Solitude, you know, like, no horns. Right, it is cool in here, but I'm gonna head back out because the atmosphere inside the juice shop isn't the best. Oh, what's that, sir? It's sweet of the sweet of the juice. Oh, have you put this in? Is this like salt? Like, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No? No, no, no. Uh, is this the, the, the salt? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's put the salt in the smoothies. The black salt. Black salt, Indian black salt. We've had it yes. before, but it's okay. And so our mate just threw some of the black salt in. Now we've had some trauma with that stuff, but we'll try it again, we'll see. We'll try it again, Leash. We're going with an open mind again. Maybe I'll taste it with the fruit and all. Yeah, maybe last time it was shit stuff. Hello, sir. You got a dragon fruit? Dragon fruit? Chinese. Chinese dragon fruit. Chinese dragon fruit. Oh, interesting. Thank you very much. So I'm going to take mine out yeah, onto the street. Please, can I come out here? Sorry, I had a panic for the black salt because Leash hates the stuff and I thought, oh God, I've ruined Leash's juice. I should have been... Right. You should have told me. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to taste it. Cheers. Mixed juice on the streets of India. Can you taste the black salt? For the black salt, right, it tastes like sulfur and rotten eggs. Good for you, but it's not the best thing in the world. But this juice is actually pretty good. Tastes a bit sulfury. I think it tastes a little bit sulfury. What juice do they put in it? Bit of everything pomegranate, grape, orange, pineapple, everything. So I would say. I think it does give it a tiny bit of a sulfury taste, I don't know. It's a little burp that. It tastes like eggs. And that's how I know it. Oh well, there. it's good. But you know what? It's very delicious. Cheers, Leash. Very good, sir. Thank you. Delicious. It's quite refreshing, actually. Wow, that's a, that is the most beautiful colour ever, the actual tea. Nice, isn't it? It's like so Why is yours nicer nice colour than mine? It's all the foam on top. It's well nice colour. It's my favourite colour. So cheers everyone, I've got to be honest people, it's coming through now, there is a strong sulfury, eggy taste, I'm getting now, I'm getting those eggs leash. It must be good for you though, <laughs> the family business is shop, this is the, the hmm. man, this is his father. Oh fantastic stuff, best places you should be supporting, yeah, love, love the people. nice family business. Next time though I'll um, I'll be um, Hawkeye in him, and the second he reaches for that salt, I'm gonna dive on him. Because Say no! I didn't know that you used it here, genuinely. But now it's not work. the worst thing ever. Like, we're over exaggerating, but it is just a little bit eggy. It's only because we know it's there, and we know what it is. So when you know something's there, you can taste it more. If you just put it in without you seeing it, you probably wouldn't taste it as much. That's a life lesson. While we're here at the juice shop, we're going to try those sweets we got because they do look good. Now I'm going straight in. I don't care, Leash. I'm going for that green one because it looks well good. Look at the colour of that. Maybe we should ask the lads if they want one. Would you like a sweet, anyone? Nobody wants a sweet. <laughs> Promise they're alright. We've not done a wee on them or anything. <laughs> Dog's not weed on them. Right, cheers. Oh, wait, yours is juicy and syrupy. Look at that. What's that? Your sugar? No. Sugar syrup oozed out of it. Is there a flavour there? I don't know. <laughs> Straight to the dentist. Go on, I'm going to try one more. We're not going to sit here and try them all because I hate it when people do that and have one bite of ten things. What have we got? Is that Gulab Jamun? I'm not sure what they all are. This one looks good as well. Do we try this one or the, the one looks like that one. No, I want this one. Sorry, Leash. This one's caught my eye because I'm, it looks a bit strange, actually. The bottom's pink. Do you want half? No. No? Save me So I don't know what this is, but we'll try this as well. 
It almost looks like raw beef on the bottom, doesn't it? Lovely thing to say when you just treat it doesn't like raw beef. It looks like? Carrots. So half it tastes like a milk biscuit. No, dried milk and then the bottom. I don't know. Is it carrots? You tell me. Is it dried fruit? I highly doubt it's carrots. It's good though. Is that carrot? Is it carrot? Yeah. Well, maybe it's carrot. I think it's carrot. We don't know. I mean, it looks like it, but I don't know. It's all right. So because they are so heavy, we can't eat all those right now. So we'll take them home with us. And we'll just scoff them all tonight. Oh, wash hands, wash hands. Oh, very kind. Thank you so much. That's really kind, that. Thank you, Dad. Really kind. So this could be the end of our little day adventure. Our mate here is actually an e-rickshaw driver. And he said he'll take us to the bus stand then we can head back to Amritsa on the local bus. So I think we'll go back. But you can see this is like the main thoroughfare of town, the main road. This is just like classic Indian city. With the divider in the road. Just a busy main road. The temple was beautiful. People have been pretty nice. Hey, it's been alright. So we'll try and get back now. That's the plan. Thank you so much. Cheers. My country. My country. England, England. North America, England, yeah. I like to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. The juice was very good. The juice was good. The black salt was alright. Welcome. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Okay, cheers. So we're going to go back to Amritsar now. Okay. Thank you. But this city is nice. Taran Taran Sahib. I mean, this city. It's quite a nice place. Yeah. We get the local bus. Local bus. Okay. Goodbye. Nice to meet you. So we're going to go to the bus stand, yeah? Thank you very much, sir. Bye bye. Thank you. Best of luck with the business. Hey. In the e-rickshaw, we're always in the e-rickshaws, aren't we? In Punjab. I don't think, have we even been in one that's been petrol? I don't know. But we're off. I love it. You love what? I just love it. Like, you just drive down the street, everybody smiles. It's a colour everywhere, it's wonderful. It's character city, yeah. everyone's a character, everyone's interesting. So, is there a country with more interesting people than in India? Just as you walk down the street, I don't know. I don't know. It's a special place. It does drive you mad at times, but it is what it is. It's charming. It's got a lot of charm in here. Here we are, I think there's a bus here. We'll have to ask, is this going to Amritsar? On the back it says city centre Amritsar. So. Amritsar? Okay, yeah, this is us. So, oh mate there, mate. Your moustache, super. How's he grown that? That is fantastic. Uh, He's got a proper moustache. Okay, cheers, mate. This is our bus. That guy has the most epic moustache I've ever seen. Oh, it's busy. It's full leash. Where can we go? Are we standing? Yeah, maybe. Can I take it? Sit here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. So it's like one half an hour back. The leash is over there. And yeah, I guess when it fills up, we'll set off. What is your name? Good pressing. Good pressing. Good pressing. Okay, so we met good pressing on the bus. And he's a Sikh man. And he's... Can I have a look at your dagger? Sikh people carry around these little daggers. It's very nice. Thank you. On the inside, is it like pattern or plain? Like en engraved or just plain blade? I don't know. But they're very cool. You see them selling them in the shops. So we're just having a best broken conversation of our lives. Really nice.
nice car. Everyone on the public or Cinder is always so nice. You always end up sitting next to someone who's just always right up for a chat. Cheers, man. The works at the Golden Temple. Good job. Job Golden Temple. Yes. yes. Good man. Good seat, man. What do you think of my turban? Is it good? Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you very much. It's my first time to work. Same, same. 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 Oh, same colour, yeah. Both yellow. Oh, yeah. But it's my, my first time. Your hair must be very long. Uh, hair? Very long. It's, your turban is very big. Uh, down to here. So you've never cut, no cut, for sick people. Or people who are very like firm believers will say, don't cut their hair. That's why they have such, such long beards. And in the turbans, the hair will be extremely long. Some people, you see some people with really big turban. This is the hair is just so long and it's all around right there. So they don't cut their hair. Any, any of the body hair. Super interesting. Nice Very nice to meet you, okay? Thank you. Best of luck, man. Right, proper top floor key, where? And we are back in Amritsar. What a little day we had. So we're going to end the video here. We're going to get an auto rickshaw back to the hotel. But while we're here, I'm just going to say, I don't know what's going on. Like 95% of the auto drivers they're giving us honest prices here in Punjab. I don't know what's going on, it's almost suspicious. Everyone's been too honest. So big up. Obviously every now and then you come across an idiot, but people have been alright. So here we go, the bus stands. Indian bus stands, they're not pretty are they? They are not pretty, they are loud and chaotic. And usually a bit of a mess, but anyway, cheers for watching us in a bit.